Well, hey everybody, it is about time for another haul. I haven't done a lot of thrifting and yard selling over the summer. A lot of my energy has been spent uh, continuing to work on the renovation. I have painted and put up all of the doors and, and that was a big undertaking and I've just kind of been ticking little things off of the list. But over the past few weeks, I've gotten to go yard selling two different times and I got to go to the thrift store. So I wanna show you guys what I got. I love a good aesthetic haul where the things are pretty and decorative and there's baskets and frames and just all of the wonderful things. And I know so many of you feel the same way, but part of yard selling and thrifting and just shopping secondhand is finding things that satisfy those everyday needs. So when your kid needs a larger pair of shoes and you find it at the thrift store, when you had something on your wish list for your wardrobe and you find it at a yard sale, or whenever you find a costume for Halloween, all of those things, I really enjoy sharing those things too because I don't just find the aesthetic things at yard sales. You can only have so many bowls and baskets and pretty plates and I love all those things, but this is a mixture of both. All right, so I'm just gonna go in the order in which I shopped and kind of grouped things. So we'll do one of the yard sales first. At the first yard sale, I spent $7. Abram picked out a Matchbox car and I don't know where it is. They all look the same to me. I don't, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know where it is. Uh, Andy had a birthday party and she chose a unicorn theme. So two things that she selected were actually at this party. There was a giant unicorn balloon and then there was a pin the horn on the unicorn. The day of her party was actually really rainy and drizzly and I completely forgot about doing the pin the horn on the unicorn. So here it is. I think it's originally from Hobby Lobby. Um, so we will just save that for a rainy day and we'll do it at home. The other thing from that yard sale was what Andy really wanted on this trip and I usually try to let them get one thing and it was a gardening set. It was pricey because it was brand new from Target and I didn't really argue the bargaining that much so for the car, for Andy's two unicorn items and for the gardening set it was seven dollars. Emily was with me on this particular trip and I said you know it's worth it just for me to have two things knocked out for her birthday in one stop and to not have to worry about that and I know if you're a parent you understand that too. On that same trip we went to a second yard sale and I got a few different items. So, so the first one is actually these addition and subtraction blocks. This is kind of what Abram's working on in school anyway. Uh, so this was originally a Target dollar spot find. The second thing for me was this pair of Puma tennis shoes. They were a little dirty, but I just scrubbed them and put them in the washing machine and they came out looking like brand new. Uh, they're very comfortable and I really like the color. I think that these will work really well in the fall and they are part of my capsule. And then the last item is actually behind me on the bed. All right, so for those three things, I bargained and asked for $7. I don't really elaborate a ton about bargaining because I know some people find it offensive and it's not offensive if you go to a yard sale and, and ask for a bargain. People can always say no and it's the nature of yard sales is saying would you take or how much for this or how much for these things together or what's your best price. At this yard sale uh, it sort of seemed like they didn't appreciate the bargaining and then I got the blanket home and I saw a little bit of staining on it and the shoes were dirty, which was why I asked for a lower price. And I think I asked for $2 less. I think they wanted nine for all of that and I asked for seven. So it wasn't a huge ask. When I got the blanket home, there were so many stains on the blanket. So I took to my trusty Puracy spray, sprayed them all, scrubbed them, and let them sit for maybe a day and washed it and it came out good as new and it's at the foot of our bed. But it just goes to show that sometimes bargaining is well received and sometimes it's not. It doesn't mean that you're wrong for bargaining. So I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, so that was it for that yard sale trip. And then I went to our local thrift store. I usually, when it comes to Halloween, I usually try to either make or thrift the kids' costumes and try to keep it very simple. We don't make it a big deal and a lot of times it's something they're just gonna wear one time. So I really try not to overspend in this area. So Andy decided that she wanted to be a Ninja Turtle. So actually at a previous thrift trip, I found her Ninja Turtle costume. And then on this thrift trip, I found the shell. So here is the costume. And then here is the shell. 
and all I have to do is sew a mask for her and I think I already have some red fabric so that should be pretty simple. I'm gonna put her hair in a ponytail and her Halloween costume will be good to go. A couple of little home goods type of things. We could use a nightlight in our bathroom. I found this one and it actually has a sensor so that as the light starts to go down, as the sun starts to go down, this will just automatically start to come on and then in the morning it goes off. And I wanna say it might have been 25 cents or a dollar. It was, it was very inexpensive. So that lives in our bathroom currently. The other thing, uh, a lot of you know I teach private music lessons, and I needed just a little shallow dish to put my picks in. I teach banjo and guitar lessons, and so I found this little 50 cent bowl, and it was just the perfect thing. It's absolutely what I needed. So the next find you've actually already seen a couple videos ago, and it was the t-shirt that I was wearing. It's for Luke Steiner from Gilmore Girls. It says, you need coffee. And one of my students told me that they had the same shirt, and I think it was originally from Target, but it's in brand new condition. So I really wanna try to take care of it and not put it in the dryer very much, and uh, just try to keep it feeling as soft as it is now. I really appreciate the color, and of course, Gilmore Girls kind of gives all the fall vibes so I got that. Alright the last thing from that thrift trip we have a little spot behind our door as you come into the house and into the kitchen that I really wanted to utilize and maybe do like some board and batten and put some hooks that may be a project for someday but I found this wooden peg rail and it was a dollar and I just think that it is so sweet so my hope my plan is to put it behind the door in the kitchen. When you live in a small space, you have to really maximize every spot and you have to be intentional and have a place for everything. So I really would like for this to be a place where book bags can land, where coats can land, and kind of stay off of the floor. So for the thrift finds, the turtle shell, the nightlight, the white bowl, the Luke Steiner shirt, and the wooden peg rail, I paid $8 at the thrift store. All right, and then we went to a separate yard sale, and all of these items together, they were going to charge me four, but it was a donation type of thing for a club, and so I ended up giving a little bit more. So I think we ended up paying six or seven dollars for this box of stuff. Let me interject here that I forgot this one item. This was on a separate thrift trip. I found this little two photo frame and I want to put this in our room somewhere. Uh, this was 25 cents and I, I think that it's really sweet. Abram found a cute little item. It's this construct a race car and it's actually a pullback car. So it's got all of these little pieces that you can punch out and put the car together and then it's got of course the little pullback mechanism. The next item was for Abram. He's very much in a Pokemon phase. We found this book bag. He does not really need a new book bag. And so we're gonna have to do one in, one out on this one for sure and have to let go of one of his other ones. But he was very excited about it and I just couldn't pass it up. It does have some markings on it here that I'm going to have to try to get out. I'm wondering if they might be pen. So I'm gonna have to try a few different things, an eraser, uh, maybe some rubbing alcohol and just see see what happens. The next one is a book for myself. I have never read Little Women and I've always been told that I should. Uh, I've heard that it's a great book. I haven't read the book and I haven't watched any of the iterations of the movie. So I got a copy of the book and I'm going to give it a try. If you watch yard sale hauls or thrift hauls at all here, you know that one of our favorite book series are the Little Critters books. I actually found two that are Lift the Flaps and they look to be brand new. Like when I pulled them open, they don't even seem like the flaps have been pulled at all. So we got this one, which was Jack and the Beanstalk. And then we got this one, Little Red Riding Hood. So I love that it's two classic stories, but kind of told through the lens of the little critters. So these were a good find. The last thing is probably what I was most excited about on that last yard sale trip. We have storage at the end of our island and somebody so graciously made a shelf for us so that we could put our pantry dried goods there. So I have various sizes of mason jars. Some of them are half gallon, some of them are quart. So I like storing dried goods in a clear container like that and this keeps it off the counter because we do have kind of a smaller kitchen, a smaller house. So I found some more containers. I don't know that I'll put them there because we're a little out of space there. I might put them above the fridge but it is a set of three and I just think they are 
so beautiful. They do have wooden caps, and so uh, you'll have to let me know how would you clean these if they were yours. Obviously, I'll, I'll wash the glass, um, but would you just wash the wood with soap and water as well? They do have a seal on the inside. And it's a trio and they are in different sizes. All right, so that totals up the haul for today. So if you are keeping track, all those different trips together, uh, I spent $29 total and that allowed me to do some functional things, do some pretty things, get a Halloween costume, uh, just a lot of fun opportunities. And $29 was not bad for all of those things. I'm curious if any of you have been thrifting or yard sailing lately. You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite find of the month has been so far. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. It's fun to kind of share a haul with you. I haven't really done that in a while and it, and it feels fun. Thank you guys for watching and I will be talking to you next time.